Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here this uh, afternoon. And uh, thanks to ICT Academy, thanks to Shiva Kumar of ICT Academy and uh, Purushottman of NASCOM. We are all here uh, to attend this very useful and uh, uh, much needed program. And uh, this panel, I'm happy to note that it's focusing on entrepreneurship. Uh, particularly very important uh, in today's context uh, because um, according to our statistics we are going to have a very young population and uh, this po young population needs to be well educated either employed or either or doing business of their own uh, of course employment cannot be given to all the 500 million uh, uh, youth that uh, India is talking about. So, there is a need of the hour to make them become entrepreneurs. All of us are aware that entrepreneurship and innovation are perhaps the most uh, important emerging engines of economic growth in a very globalized world. The world's largest economy, the United States, with a GDP of nearly 18 trillion US dollars, is based almost entirely on a spirit of free enterprise and unbridled entrepreneurship. China, close to the US, not close enough, with a GDP of $7 trillion, dollar, US dollar, is also based on its own version of entrepreneurship, fostered, fostered and encouraged by the state. In India, all of us know this spirit of entrepreneurship started in the uh, 90s, sorry, 80s, with Thirubhai Ambani leading the way, and such other people like Narayana Murthy, Mittels of Airtel, paving the way for entrepreneurship. So after the onset of our liberalization in 1991, we have, in India, witnessed a spectacular growth in the number of new entrepreneurs and enterprises, particularly, as you all know, in the services sector. The acts of entrepreneurship are often associated with uncertainty, particularly when it involves bringing something really novel to the world where such a market never existed below, before. The real question is to how to foster entrepreneurship at college level, given the characteristics of entrepreneurship. Typically, colleges are engaged in imparting knowledge and to some limited extent, skills. The entrepreneurial characteristics do not fall into these two categories, but has a very different dimension, namely attitude and aptitude. In the language of management education, we would call this being, while knowledge is about knowing and skill is about doing. So to foster entrepreneurship at college level, we would need a re reorientation of all our mindsets, that is the mindsets of all the stakeholders, and of course, completely change our teaching learning systems and processes. Unless institutions are constantly in an innovation mode, and unless the faculty are entrenched in a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship, it would be extremely difficult for us to foster this spirit in our students. This is an experiential uh, process, learning by active experimentation and actually conceptualization of entrepreneurship. Classrooms will be, will be required to be turned into laboratories of entrepreneurial motivation. Theories ought to be limited in, and practice provided more opportunities. Live examples of successful organizations actively involved in promoting a culture of uh, innovation and entrepreneurship need to be discussed frequently with the students. They not only need to be discussed, but analyzed and of course understood. Examples that readily come to mind are Google, Apple, Facebook, Sony, globally and nationally in, in India, Tata's Future Group and other smaller companies 
newer companies, new generation companies such as Flipkart, Make My Trip, etc. The trend is already evident in India, as we all know. There is an increase in the number of graduates in engineering and management taking up social courses to establish on their own. So we'd like to see also a breed of social entrepreneurs because unless and until these entrepreneurs have a deep sense of service to the society, I think going forward they may fail in their quest for entrepreneurship. So these challenges that are there in our education institutions need to be changed. As we all know, our education system, right from primary to secondary, we are also used to being lectured. And we never ask questions in our classroom. So right from kindergarten, we need to change our, our way of thinking, our way of teaching, and foster the need for children to ask questions. Secondly, our family and societal environment, our culture looks down upon questioning. So thirdly, our system of higher education is also based on a curriculum that is, in most of the times, it's outdated and irrelevant to contemporary business practices and really divorced from the current reality. So we need to have an open mind, accept certain views, perspectives that may not match our own, and we need to have develop a spirit of brainstorming, discussion, and willingness and ability to travel the path that is less traveled. So some of my suggestions for consideration um, by this panel and the audience are that we should all work together with the industry at our colleges, work together with the industry to ensure that students who specialize in entrepreneurship are not considered ineligible for placement. In case they are, interested in entrepreneurship, we should make them take up a placement so that you know they get the exposure and experience of working in a business. And I think the companies who do take them on should not think that they're not going to be lasting long in their companies because they're looking at entrepreneurship. They should encourage them as a part of their uh, CSR. That's corporate social responsibility. Let educational institutions that consciously nurture and encourage innovation and entrepreneurship as a part of their regular curriculum be recognized and awarded or rewarded. Let each educational institution lay down a policy that a minimum number or a percentage of its students should take up entrepreneurship upon their graduation. Let this policy be intertwined into the institutional performance appraisal system for the faculty. Let students who take up entrepreneurship as a specialization be also financially rewarded by the managements of these colleges. Let institutions be encouraged to work closely with ICT Academy, NASCOM, CII, NEN, TAI, and similar industry organizations to nurture and promote innovation and entrepreneurship in their campuses. So these are some of my thoughts and suggestions on how to foster uh, entre entrepreneurship in colleges. And uh, I think we'll just, uh, le I'll leave you all to think about these suggestions. I wish to thank uh, everybody here for giving me this opportunity. And I hope this, uh, these proceedings today uh, will culminate in uh, good takeaways and, uh, and these takeaways should be taken up for execution or implementation. Thank you.